But what are some things that are gonna help our blends become flawless, especially around light colors? Silvers, whites, golds, light blues. Things like in that color family, it is the prep. Folks, it's gonna be your foundation of what you do. How do we achieve good refractive index, which means light will travel in and out of a panel very quickly. It will not distort or make our colors look darker. Well, we are recommending, and we've done the studies, to buff the areas that you're only going to be applying clear coat. And the reason why you wanna do that is with refractive index, if it's not good, it's due to degradation in the clear coat, oxidation, could be some micro scratches, even some moisture that has, has gotten into the clear coat film. That could be all there, and if we do not remove it, we end up trapping it underneath our fresh clear coat. So how do we remove it? A wool pad and some compound. So folks, we're going to buff the panel. Okay, we're gonna buff the panel to remove that oxidation, degradation, micro scratches, moisture, anything that's there, that heat and abrasion will remove any of those four things I just mentioned. Then to top it off, we are going to ask that you use a thousand on a DA with an interface pad, okay? Interface pad is something that we're asking. When you do that, polish and sand, you can see how clear it looks. But if you just sand it, you say, hey, I sand all the time, it's not a big deal. You know, you tell me which one looks better. Which one's gonna give you the true representation of the color below it, if there was one? Better yet, let's look at a picture. Here we have a swimming pool. The swimming pool here is showing you a couple things. Not only that it's not my backyard, but it is a picture from the internet, but it's showing you that when they fill that pool, they did not put two different color waters in that pool. They didn't do that, right? But why does the one side of the pool look darker than the other? You guessed it. It's taking longer for the light to get to the bottom of the deep end versus the shallow part of the, of the pool. So how do we make the connection? Well, if we don't clean, if we use too aggressive of sandpaper, this is what we are going to get in our clear coat at the end of our blend. If we clean and use the right abrasives, thousand on the DA, that is what we are going to get at the end of our blend panel with regular application of clear coat. We do not have to worry about it failing or looking dark because if that's the case, that is going to be a redo every single time. That is not going to ship to the customer. So, to reiterate or drive it home, let's get those areas that we're going to blend cleaned. Clean thoroughly, compound it, sand it with a thousand on a DA, so that way we do not have any refractive index issues at the end of our blends.